All right, so as most of us had hoped with the announcement of the new Dokkan Fest Kefla on JP, the original Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Kefla is also going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening as well. And a few hours ago, they released her details. So in today's video, we're going to quickly go over these uh, EZA details and I'll give you guys some early thoughts that I have about it. Now, first things first, let's quickly talk about what she does before the EZA for comparison purposes. So her current leader skill is Patara category key plus three, HP attack and events plus 150%, super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And her passive is changes int key spheres to fizz key spheres, attack and events plus 12% per key sphere obtained, medium chance to evade enemies attacks, including super attacks, launches, an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack so of course when she first came out she was kind of interesting because she had the nuking aspect she could change uh key spheres she had the chance to dodge she also could launch launch multiple supers so she was i would say a pretty impressive unit upon her first release but over time you know over the years uh her damage and her defense just don't really cut it in newer events so this was definitely a very much needed Extreme Z Awakening. So now with the EZA, her leader skill becomes Atara category, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 160%. And then super attack raises defense, causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And then her new passive will be changes into key spheres to phase key spheres, attack and defense plus 20% per key sphere obtained medium chance to evade enemies attacks including super attacks launches an additional attack which has a high chance to become a super attack plus an additional attack plus 60 percent when attacking with six or more fizz key spheres obtained okay so i don't think like initially when you just first look at this it's too crazy okay but this additional attack plus 60 percent is calculated separately so uh basically what this means is that if you get her six key spheres oh it's not just regular key spheres is it okay so it has to be fizz key spheres which is a little bit annoying but you got to take into consideration the fact that she does change into fizz so it's much easier for her to actually get six fizz key spheres anyways if you get her six fizz key spheres she's gonna be hitting stupidly stupidly hard guys Okay, like each super is going to be in the multi, multi millions. I don't want to say an actual number right now because I don't know the exact calculations, but she's going to be doing like three, four, five million plus supers most likely. And, and of course, depending on how many key spheres you give her. But the point is, she's going to be hitting stupid hard and she can also launch multiple supers, right? So... You know, every other turn you're getting, you're getting at least two supers, and then sometimes with the hidden potential system, uh, you could be launching a third super. And she's also raising defense with every single super attack, so potentially it could be raising defense up to three times per turn. Um, of course, the medium chance to dodge is always nice. Uh, changing the key spheres is really nice. 20% attack and defense is really high, and then this additional 60% attack with six or more fizz key spheres obtained is absolutely crazy so um i think it's a really good easy a man i think it's a really impressive easy a she's gonna be getting some really good defense obviously with this defense plus 20 percent per key sphere obtained obviously the stacking of defense is gonna make her great for longer events and uh what else is there to say man they did a great job with this kefla she's gonna be a monster she really is man i know i say that a lot about these more recent easy a's but it's because it's kind of true for basically all of them you know like they've been <laughs> kind of going all out with the easy A's recently and I'm not mad about it you know like if you guys want to keep doing that Bandai if you want to keep giving us these easy A's and making these like really old units like top top tier TURs again um that's totally fine you know so yeah, there you go. Fizz Kefla Extreme Z Awakening looking amazing. Uh, of course, I want to hear your opinion, so let me know in the comments down below 
what you guys think about it, but just based off my first impression, man, based off what I see right now, and obviously it's late, so my brain might not be working as efficiently as it normally does, but even I can see right now, man, like, uh, this is a very impressive EZA, man. This is a really, really good EZA. I really don't have any complaints about it. You know, big damage, uh, great defense. Um, yeah, that's really all there is to say. So there you go. Those are the details for Fizz Super Saiyan 2 Careful as Extreme Z Awakening. Let me know your opinions. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.